Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Um, I'm sorry that we've, I don't know what happened to uh, the previous video was uh, in black and white and uh, it stopped halfway so I was concentrating on painting. I didn't realize any of these technical problems. Um, so let me show you what I have got here. I just finished the uh, the uh, phoenix eye and the, some of the details on phoenix. I will just uh, paint a little more to see what uh, this can do. I mean this uh, program can do. I uh, Let me f try to finish the the wings and tails. Let's see if we can finish. There's my my uh, model painting I downloaded it from the internet. It's a silk painting, but I tried to adapt it to the uh, paper um, scroll. It's pre-mounted on silk, but it's not a silk. The original painting was on silk, so it's more. Uh, looks more delicate than mine because if this is an unsized paper. It's very difficult, very very difficult to do, almost like spontaneous painting. That's why I can show you the process. Uh, it's uh, relatively faster, but it's more challenge. Okay, um, so I'm good. I, I will do the tail feather. I leave out the little purplish. Uh, third flying feather or something there. So I will just go directly to the primary feather, I think. It's kind of purplish. Or blue. Let me just make it pure than what it was when I was sample painting. I have to do fast, otherwise it will blur. And then the tail feather is kind of dark. So we can start from dark and then uh, add opaque on, on top of that. But I, I'll just remind myself there's some uh, highlight. I want to save the white. So this part is the light. Okay, now I go dark. We can do transparent. With a, you can mix the greens, or I can just use a ready-made green. What about this cascade green I got from Daniel Smith? I'll just mix some, some purple colors, make it neutral. Mute it. So let's wash the dark part first, what it looks like. Okay, so continue on the shady part. And uh, this uh, behind, so it's kind of dark green anyway. When you dilute it, anything could be transparent and nice. So you should go slower and build up. But this paper does not allow me to do too many layers because it penetrates through to the back it's not sealed absorbency it's not sized it's like drawing calligraphy okay 
See, if I repeat, it will become dark. That's the beauty of it. Actually, I like that. So just use the same tone of value. You can get depth. Let's get green and maybe just some neutral tint. Neutral tint is the Dennis Miss color to make it darker. Some angle I really cannot see my brush. I just paint it with feeling and confidence. That's very important. You know, it just goes that stroke. And you know, use your arm to control it. Hold the brush higher when you draw longer lines. It's okay to go outside. I think we may need some warm color later to contrast it and uh, you know, then we can uh, highlight with more dark. Anyway, I'm going to wash this little little feather and I mean large uh, smaller frying feathers, what do you call that? Um, 
this are orange, yellow, here. white for each feather, so this separate with highlight. I'll use a complementary color like a purple to finish the shady part. Let's see. Some more dabs on the main flying feather. I was using the, uh, I think we can stay with the neutral tint. Just on one color. Dark brown color to do the purple. Shape to the more.
Okay, I have to take a break. Um, there's another wing and there's some other details on the upper right, upper right corner I have to work with. Let me show you how, how we have done so far. Let me take the camera off. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. See you next time. Happy Chinese New Year, by the way. <laughs>